Welcome to the Proxerve training video for building your catalogue. In this video you'll learn how to provide effective content using the Proxerve catalogue builder. You'll be able to download the latest version of the catalogue builder on the Proxerve website. Please ensure that this file is saved locally on your computer so that it can be easily accessed. When you open up the catalogue builder you'll be prompted to enable the macros. Please ensure you do this for editing purposes. Please note, options may vary due to different versions of Excel. On the left hand side you'll find six blue icons which allow you to navigate to the different sections within the catalogue. If you hover over the icons with your mouse you will see the title of each section. If at any point you need help or guidance please refer to the second and third icon where you can find instructions and examples. Within the instructions, you will find information on how to populate your header data, create price breaks and delivery charge details. Select the shopping basket icon. This is where you will populate your data. Across the top, you'll see the headings color coded in red and yellow. The red columns are mandatory fields that need to be completed and the yellow ones are optional columns that will enhance your catalogue. If you hover your mouse over the heading you'll see a pop-up box appear which will give you a brief description of what needs to be populated within that column. It will also notify you of any cell restrictions such as data type and character lengths. The first column is titled Action. In this column you should enter Add as you're creating a new product within your catalogue. In the Supplier Item ID column, please populate with your unique Supplier Part Number or SKU code. If you do not have either of these, please populate with a distinctive value, for example, 1, 2, 3 and so on. In the Item Name column, please give a short description for the item that will appear in the catalogue and on the purchase order. This field is used for item identification and should be clear, precise and easily understood. Please note the cell restrictions. In the Unit of Measure column, please enter the code that identifies your product. You can find this in the Units of Measure table by selecting the box icon on the left hand side. When the table appears, you will find a filter arrow located next to the titles in the table. This will enable you to filter down to the most appropriate code. For example, select the filter adjacent to name, then select text filters and then contains. You will then be prompted to type in a word, for example box. A list of words that contain the word box will appear. Select the most appropriate code, copy it and select the shopping basket icon on the left hand side. You will then be returned to your content page. Paste this code into the Units of Measure cell. In the Unit of Purchase Quantity column, enter the quantity of items that comprises the unit of purchase. For example, if the unit of measure is a box and the unit of purchase quantity is 10, this identifies that this item is purchased in a box of 10. In the Unit Price column, enter the price for the product or service. If you have a contracted price for this item, please enter the agreed price. Please do not insert the currency symbol, just enter the numerical value. In the minimum order quantity column, enter the minimum quantity in which this item can be purchased. In the quantity interval column, input the minimum increment value of which the item can be ordered. For example, if ordering food, for half a kilogram enter 0.5. In the UNSPSC column, you'll need to enter the most appropriate code relating to each line item. Please note that the items can be searched by the buyer using the UNSPSC tree in the shopping environment. To find a list of codes, please select the icon on the left hand side labelled UNSPSC. When the table appears, as before select the filter arrow adjacent to definition. You can then filter on a word that relates to the item. Most buyers would like you to go to level 4 within the UNSPSC tree, so it is in a more specific category which narrows the search results. The class version column will be auto-populated. In the lead time column, enter the delivery time for the item. 
this must be a numerical value. In the keyword column, enter words that relate to your item, as these words will be searchable words that will bring up your item. For this cell, imagine yourself as a buyer and what words you would use in order to find the product. Please note the character restrictions. In the long item description, enter a full comprehensive product description. Please note there are no character restrictions within this column. In the price effective date, enter the date from when your prices are effective from. In the price expiry date column, enter the date when your prices expire. If you do not have a date, please enter a date in the future as this can always be amended. In the contract reference column, enter the specific contract reference you have set with your buyer, if any. If not, please insert a zero. From the columns Government Procurement Contract Item to Hazardous Item, default as N and where applicable change to Y. In the Government Procurement Contract Item column, insert a Y if this is on a government contract and an N if it is not. In the Collaborative Content Item column, insert a Y if this is available on a contract or a framework agreement and an N if it is not. In the Core Item column, insert a Y if this is a core item on a contract and an N if it is not. In the Environmentally Friendly Item column, insert a Y if this is an environmentally friendly item and an N if it is not. In the Hazardous Item column, insert a Y if this product is hazardous and an N if it is not. In the Manufacture Part Number column, this will be the part number assigned to this item by the manufacturer. This is a searchable field to help buyers locate products or services. In the Manufacture Name, this is the name of the manufacturer. This field is searchable to help the buyers to find products or services by brand name. In the Model Name column, enter the model name of the item. The Required Item 1 column. This is a reference to another catalogue item that must be purchased if this item is added to a shopping basket. Enter the Supplier Item ID of the required item. The item must be in the same catalogue. For example, this mouse will require a mousepad, therefore enter 002 mousepad. The Optional Item 1 column. This is a reference to another catalogue item that can be purchased if this item is added to a shopping basket. Enter the Supplier Item ID. The item must be in the same catalogue. In the Item Information URL column, insert a hyperlink to a website that provides further information about the item. The URL should be prefixed with http colon forward slash forward slash and is not case sensitive. The buyer will see the hyperlink labelled additional information and when clicked on, this web page will open up in a new window. In the aspect name 1 column, insert the name of the item aspect. For example, colour, height, length, width, weight, colour size. If an aspect name is entered, an aspect value, adjacent column, is mandatory. In the aspect value 1 column, insert the value associated with the name. For example, silver, as the aspect name is colour. In the Aspect Value Unit 1 column, insert the unit of measure associated with the aspect value. For example, if the aspect name is collar size with an aspect value of 16.5, the aspect value unit might be INH for inches. In the following columns, titled Pick Name 1, Document Name 1 and Video, enter the file name of the main product image, document or media file presenting the product including the file extension. All media items are uploaded separately against the catalogue reference. The file path is not required in this field, only the name of the image, document or video as it is saved in the uploaded file directory or zip file. This image will appear as a thumbnail picture in the item search results. Please note, you can only attach images in the supported format, which you can find in the comment box that appears when you hover your pointer over the heading, and only one document may be referenced in each field. You should try and load images against all line items to enhance your catalogue. If this is not possible, why not upload your company logo? In the GTIN column, 
enter the Global Trade Identification Number. For example, the EAN or UPC code. For the purpose of the training video, you will not need to populate the next few columns. Once all the data has been populated, select the Add-ins tab at the top of the page that will bring up the catalog toolbar. Select the Check Data button. This will run a validation test on all the information you have entered. Press OK on the first screen to run the test and view the results. Press OK again to view the error report. If there are any errors, they will appear here. For example, you can see that the value for the UNSPSC code is incorrect. Therefore, by selecting the cell link in the report, you will be redirected to the exact cell where the error is. Please correct the error and run the check data again. When you see the message, test procedure is successfully completed, your catalogue has now been created. Your catalogue update will now be complete. If you need additional support with building your catalogue, please contact the ProxServe Supplier Support Team on 0845 604 2328 or by email at supplier support at proxserve.com.